And in a weather update, dropping temperatures, bringing in rain and snow in Utah. Here's yet another look. This is at some drone footage that was shot along the Wasatch Front. The top of the mountains, as you see in the distance, they're covered in snow. You can also see that thick cloud cover. So many excited skiers down in Salt Lake City say that they're just itching to get back into the mountains. And when can that be? Well, let's head over to Chief Meteorologist Alana Brophy for the latest on this forecast that's continuing to develop. Alana. Emily, I love that defined snow line. It was down to 6,000 feet. I have to show you a great time-lapse video. This is from Sundance, where they picked up a few inches here. But you watch as the storm interacts with the mountain, and you're able to see it starts quiet, and then boom, just like that, the snow begins to accumulate. This happened at several mountain locations. Love to see the snow stake at Alta adding. Amazing time-lapse video. They reported eight inches from the storm. But it's not just mountain snow. We also saw decent valley rain. Just some seasonal road updates for you. Guardsman's Pass now closed for the season, as is the Alpine Loop. We're going to keep our eye on Mirror Lake Highway and those other seasonal roads, and we, of course, will keep you posted if we see closures there. Rain. It was another part of the forecast throughout our valleys, and we saw record precipitation today in Brigham City, where they picked up more than half an inch. But that is just one of the many rain totals with very healthy amounts. This is what it looked like this evening with the rain coming down here at the ABC4 Studios, our backyard. Soaked. Thank you to Seth, her weather producer, for grabbing that video. Okay, precipitation totals. Big numbers coming out of this one, and we still have active skies. Eight tenths up in Cache Valley for Wellsville. Logan getting more than three quarters of an inch. Seven tenths for the backside of the Wasatch. Ogden over half an inch, pretty close to that. In Sandy, this is as that wet weather came through with two separate bands. Four tenths on the Bountiful Bench. Cedar Hills getting three tenths more than a quarter of an inch. It's Salt Lake International. Bear Lake picking up good moisture in two tenths in Tooele. Really great totals from this storm system, not just on the rain front, but snow front as well. Live view from Cedar City, where the front has made it to southern Utah and that wet weather has filled in. It's 34 degrees and it's raining, but we've watched some snow mix in in Iron County, and that's going to be the case on I-15 for the next couple of hours. Forewarn radar sweeping the region so you know what to expect. Let's zoom into the north. Lehigh to Provo over I-15 still soggy. Also seeing that for Park City where it's coming down on the mountain. That snow total will go up. Portions of Tooele and Rush Valley also seeing some echoes of moisture. But as we head further south, that rain transitioning to snow now on the forewarn radar from Beaver County to Iron County. Wet weather in the extreme southwestern corner of the state, so Darren and Diamond Valley likely getting some rain right now. The I-70 and I-15 corridor also looking a little soggy. High temperatures today below average. Yesterday we were 71 degrees, topped out at 50, but we spent most of the day in the 40s, 40s and 50s. For northern Utah, you can see the areas that were not impacted by the cold front yet, and that includes southeastern Utah and St. George, where they made it to 71. That will change for tomorrow. Tonight along the Wasatch Front, partly cloudy skies out there as we wrap ABC4 News at 10. Overnight, mostly clear, so we're going to see those clouds breaking apart and temperatures dropping into the 30s. Off to the races by 9 a.m., but it's a cold start. We're going to stay below average for today. As we look at our snow levels, they continue to drop, making it to the benches, but we're running out of precipitation. As we head into tomorrow and Wednesday morning, we don't have wet conditions, so drier conditions, and the snow levels will fluctuate. That's why we saw valley rain. Futurecast shows you what to expect. Okay, active skies. This is after midnight at 1 a.m. We do have snow potential for the South Central Mountains towards Richfield in Beaver County and the Iron County Mountains right there on I-15 could get sloppy. That holds on until after midnight, early morning hours. The Uinta Basin also getting wet weather, and then the moisture starts to slide to the east. Cold and calmer conditions on deck for you. Wednesday and the remainder of your work week. Staying below seasonal norms for the middle of the week. Only a high of 47 tomorrow in Salt Lake. Typically, the average high is 56. Not close to that. No, we'll see the 40s with a few 50s popping up in eastern Utah and low 60s in St. George. Speaking of Washington County, take a look. Temperatures were in the 70s today. Oh no, a solid drop tomorrow with the 60s. Dry conditions with the winds, sunshine, and 64 on Veterans Day. Not bad. Here's the Wasatch 
front where we will stay below average with a gradual warming trend here. It's going to take a moment before we get back to the 50s. Drier conditions. We do get a weak disturbance Friday into Saturday, so into Veterans Day. That will keep temperatures at bay. The 60s do come back next week, which, dear 60s, I miss you. Yeah. But I am so happy to see the snow on the mountain and really healthy rain in our valleys. So a good storm system for November.